So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the Galaxy S9 Plus Now. Now this continues my Now series of devices and this one's kind of interesting because there are major discounts on this device right now and it offers some very nice specifications at this current time with those discounts. So right now Verizon has it at like 589, AT&T has it like about the same price. Unlocked, it's $100 off from Samsung and you also do get about $300 off if you trade in a device here. So the Galaxy S9 Plus right now represents a pretty good value in terms of discount as once the holiday season are over, this phone's going to go back to its normal pricing. So you can also find this on used markets, probably even cheaper than the prices I just mentioned. So let's talk about it if it's still worth it right now in late 2018. Okay, guys, so in terms of the key specs, what do you get now? Well, you get some pretty beautiful specs for likely the cheaper price you're going to pay than even something like an iPhone 10R. For example, 6.2 inch, 1440 by 2960p Super AMOLED display. It's also curved making it look rather beautiful to some. Some don't like curved though, but it is curved. Has no notch on the display, although the chin and the top bezel is bigger than what you see on some phones. It kind of blends when you're using the phone. You kind of forget about it, but from a design element, it's definitely not all screen, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. On the rear, you get a very nice variable aperture F1.5 to f2.4 dual camera you have a telephoto lens as well so you can go out a little bit on the zoom not too much like you can do on a huawei phone for example you also get 4k 60 which is something you cannot even get on some high-end mirrorless full frame cameras from sony like an a7 III, for example now don't get me wrong those are full frame sensors they'll blow away a smartphone and pretty much everything when it comes to camera but the processor technology in smartphones is advancing faster allowing it to have 4k 60 even on these smaller sensors so if you want great video the s9 series or note 9 is an excellent video machine you're actually seeing this video being recorded at 4k 60 on the note 9 now it might be downscaled for the final product but i'm going to go ahead and show you that i am recording right now on the Note 9, I did that on purpose because I wanted to showcase to you how good the camera actually is for this phone as they do have the same camera. Six gigabytes of RAM and an Exynos 9810, giving this phone really nice specs. 10 nanometer, it's not seven nanometers, so it's not the most powerful out there. But a 3500 milliamp hour battery, and this phone will keep it running most of the day, but if you want absolute marathon battery you might want to consider samsung's note 9. okay so let's take a look at the design the design of the galaxy s9 plus is a little bit short pretty thin very curvy and very i would say sleek but also pretty ergonomic in the hand although i don't find its corners to be quite as smooth as something like the iphone 10s for example it's still got a very nice feel in the hand at least compared to the more square android phones out there like the note 9 for example, or some phones from Sony like the XZ3. This one feels pretty sleek in the hand as does the smaller S9. Now, one thing I've always liked about the Samsung Galaxy series is how they're bringing the camera bump almost flat. So it doesn't really rock on a table or anything on this design. So if you have this phone, you barely have any rock. Now, some other phones out there will rock quite a bit when you do have it placed on a table. At the bottom, you have USB-C and we have a headphone jack. I did get a little tiny scuff right there. So that aluminum on this blue color or any of the other colors can scratch up a bit, but still it feels rather nice. Wireless charging is on board as well. Overall, I think it's a pretty sleek, slender and still very modern looking design here. It will be pretty much superseded by the Galaxy S10 that's coming. However, it's gonna have a hole in the display likely and not everybody's gonna be on board with this. This is a pretty refined version of a Galaxy design. So I think right now if you buy it, you will be still very happy with the phone you do have in your pocket with the S9 Plus. It is a beautiful you know, smartphone right here and I think it's actually more sleek looking than even the Note 9. Okay guys, so I wanna talk about the display here for the Galaxy S9. As you know, with all Samsungs basically, you can go ahead and tweak the color that you do get out of this phone by going to screen mode. You can have adaptive display, which is the most vibrant version of the display, I feel like. The AMOLED cinema is a little bit less vibrant, a little bit warm. The photo is very neutral here, and basic is like no color at all, like lifeless on the display. So if you really dislike really punchy colors, you want a basic looking screen, you can do that there. But 
this display is pretty much unrivaled. I mean, yes, you have the 10s Max, you have these other displays, but many of those displays are made by Samsung. So it's kind of like for you to say like another phone has a much better display, likely Samsung made that display. So they're winning either way when it comes to display. Samsung knows how to make displays and it's kind of becoming something we don't even need to discuss anymore as you kind of can just expect. If you buy a Galaxy phone, you're getting an amazing panel here and it's no different here with the Galaxy S9. Super high resolution, deep blacks, punchy colors, but not oversaturated like some of the older Samsungs, which many people complained about. So you're gonna be very, very pleased with the display for the Galaxy S9 Plus, unless you really like LCD displays, you'll love this one right here. All right, guys, so let's quickly discuss the software with the Galaxy S9 Plus. So I do get pretty much monthly security patches on this phone, but I have not had one major update since getting this phone way back in March. So don't look to get this phone if you're looking for major updates all the time. Although right now, might be a good time to buy this because the One UI is coming to this phone very soon and uh, that should keep you going all through 2019 as it will be up to date and you're going to get security patches after that. It should get the update that comes in late 2019 as well but after that you're pretty much probably not going to see many more updates after that. Samsung phones usually go two to three years and then you got to upgrade if you want more software as the older phones kind of get left behind a little bit. So it's not giving you major updates every single time like the iPhone series, but at least you are getting security patches, which is better than we could say from past years of Samsung. Now, when it comes to the features, I'm not going to go on and on about this. If you want to see more about the features, check out my full review on the Galaxy S9 Plus. You know it's loaded with all the customization features. You know you're going to be finding stuff months down the line on the Galaxy S9 Plus. You have split screen multitasking, pop view, all kinds of of features in here, advanced features, one-handed modes, gestures, swipe to take a screenshot. There's just so much going on here. You're really gonna love it if you're into features. So right now, I think the software is still a thumbs up. It's just not super updated, but I do like the card UI a little bit more than I do on the sideways version of Android 9 Pie. It just feels a little smoother going up and down, although that's gonna go away with the One UI. Now, when it comes to the Galaxy S9 Plus's performance, I've actually been quite happy with it. It actually doesn't really lag ever at all. And uh, you can't say that about some older Samsung devices. This is the most snappy Samsung S series phone ever. It should be as it is every year, it gets better and better. But the Galaxy S9 has given me no stutters, really no lag at all that I can even remember. So I've been very impressed. I took this uh, phone off into Los Angeles earlier this year as my only daily driver phone and uh, it performed competently well every single day, every single time. I didn't even bring any other phone, just the S9 Plus and uh, that's why it still says Los Angeles here on the weather even though right now I'm in Chicago. So it did very well. So overall, the performance, I was super pleased with it. Everything was fast, snappy, got on my lifts and everything, got to the airport just fine. Everything was just good. So the performance here is a go, I think, for the Galaxy S9. It's a definite, definite upgrade over some older Samsungs. You should be pretty pleased with what you're getting here, even though it doesn't have the latest 7 nanometer 855. It doesn't have 8 GBs of RAM like the Note 9. It's plenty fast enough for most users. So what about the camera with the S9? You know it's a dual 12 megapixel camera like we talked about earlier. It does have the telephoto zoom here. So if you hit that 2X, you can go in and get those zoom shots here, which is a must for many people these days. As I've, I've seen people comment saying, I'm not getting a phone unless it has a zoom on it. So this can be important for you. You have filters. You have many features in here as well. And it goes right to left, which I kind of do like this new way that Samsung has set up the software here. You have a food mode, panorama. You have pro mode, which I'm kind of recording this video in. I have it set up in pro mode. And you have live focus. You have super slow-mo, which can go 960p, although this is really hard to capture. It still has it, which is kind of cool. This was kind of a gimmicky feature that's kind of gone now. That was me right there, the little AR emoji guy. Uh, hyperlapse, which is kind of like their time lapse. And many more settings in here, which will allow you to do much more. So overall, I think this camera has really good photos right out of camera, really good colors on it. They're not oversaturated. They're pretty natural. Um, it doesn't quite beat, I think, the 10s right now as that camera had more time to come out and have a little bit better video features. But man, really for an Android phone, this would be in my top ranks of best Android cameras right up there with the Mate 20 series as well as the Pixel 3.
Talking about the selfie camera here on this phone, it also has a decent selfie cam. Um, it's not like super detailed, like you're gonna get on a Pixel. It's a little bit soft, but it's not like overly fake looking like you're gonna see on a Mate 20 Pro, for example, that looks kind of really, really fake. You do have wide selfie here as well. It's not quite like wide at first. You kind of have to move it side to side. But I think that the selfie will be just fine for most people unless you're really in the selfies. You might want the more natural looking iPhone series or you might want the Pixel if you want the best selfie on a phone. That might be for you. So this is not the best front facing camera, but it does work. Although it does shoot in pretty high quality video off on the front at QHD, which is something you can't do on every other smartphone. So overall, I think the camera is a win. I think most people will love this camera, especially in low light and for video. Go ahead and take a look at the samples I took on this phone and judge it for yourself. Okay guys, so I want to discuss the battery life. It's actually not bad here for the Galaxy S9 Plus. I'm not going to say that this is marathon battery life like the Huawei P20 Pro, the Galaxy Note 9, the OnePlus 6T, but the battery life on here is definitely not going to leave you in the dust. It's not going to leave you hanging. You'll be able to get through the day. Um, you're going to probably need to top up late like 9 o'clock p.m. around there. You're not going to be beating the best on the market, but it's definitely not horrible okay guys so when it comes to audio the galaxy s9 plus was the first samsung smartphone to bring dolby atmos dual speakers on here so turn that on if you want the highest quality audio some audio comes out the top right here and some come out the bottom of this phone right over here now you do have yourself a headphone jack as well which is always appreciated but i gotta tell you they knocked this one out of the park when it comes to audio. Not only is the headphone jack right in the right location, it doesn't get in your way. You can charge it while using the headphone jack. You also have equalizer settings for that headphone jack in this phone. In addition to that, the external speakers are just about as loud as any other competing flagship on the market. So this was one of my favorite phones to use of the entire year when it comes to audio. And especially if you turn this Dolby Atmos on, you get very loud audio so right now buying a galaxy s9 plus you're going to be extremely happy with that aspect of the phone okay so in terms of the call quality again it might sound like i'm boasting here but this had great call quality for me as well it comes with those akg headphones in the box which have pretty good call quality while you're talking on them as well as it has an extra volume mode when you are talking to people in call so it boosts the volume and with the included dual speakers the speakerphone calls are very loud so Thumbs up for the call quality on this phone. It actually is pretty good. It's got Qualcomm modems, so you're not going to have reception issues anywhere. Galaxy S9 is a beast of a phone calling phone. Okay, guys, so at the conclusion of this video, the Galaxy S9 Plus now, is it worth it? And with all these discounts, it's a no-brainer, absolutely. There's not many phones that have as many features as the Galaxy S9 Plus other than the Note 9. If you like the Note 9, but you found that price too high, the Galaxy S9 gives you 90% of what that phone offers. It may be more like 95% without the S Pen and without that battery that you get on the Note 9. But overall, the Galaxy S9 Plus is a steal of a phone at this current price point and these discounts it's on right now. Now, not everything is positive about this device. It's going to be you know updated very soon. So if you buy one now, you're going to feel like maybe a little buyer's remorse if you do like to be on the latest and greatest every second. But if you're just looking for a solid smartphone and you didn't want to buy them when the prices they came out at like 850 almost $900 for the Galaxy S9 Plus, right now, pick one up. You'll be probably likely more than happy with this device for a couple years. One downside is it probably won't be as updated as, you know, we know which phone, the iPhone series, but still it's going to get security updates as Google's forcing that now on all manufacturers to push out security updates. So it's going to get that. And the last negative is you're not going to be able to sell this for a really high price point because Samsung phones typically don't hold their value as long. 
Other than that, though, you might be able to trade it in on a newer Samsung phone because Samsung, when they do trade in values, they usually give you more than you could sell the phone for. At the end of the day, I think it's a no brainer. What do you guys think? Is the Galaxy S9 Plus now worth it? Are you picking one up for the holiday season? Do you already have one wrapped up under the tree? Let us know your take down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this one helpful, entertaining, informing, and you want to see a different phone reviewed now as you're thinking about picking one up for this holiday season, let me know. I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out the merch. It's down below in the description. I'll catch you all in the next one. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.